once we were there, it was like billions of robots at the same time, same day. There was a lot of good other teams there who had put the same effort to the robots as we had. Before when we set up, we also checked the stats for a robot to see if it works, see if there's any kinks to it, fix those kinks. We had the entire team there. It counted. Friday counted, so you had to do well Friday if you wanted to go anywhere Saturday. Uh, the rest of the scouts of other teams for alliances. Greetings, citizens. I'm OC Man. I'm protector of John O'Connell High School. When I'm not saving the world, I like to be the mascot for John O'Connell. We got the mascot. So, all right. Three good three. I was the driver and Alex was the ramp, so before we get into a match, you know, you just gotta let everything go. You gotta be loose, you can't be tense, and you gotta have real good vision. I mean, you gotta be able to watch the whole entire field. In the red lines, drive a bit red here, John O'Connell back, 1031. The Boilermakers from San Francisco. observing how my team would compete and they did excellent. We know that we could take the defensive. We've had experience in that. When I'm driving, I don't I don't feel anything. I don't see anything. Uh, we have coaches, we have people screaming at us, the crowd's going wild. I don't hear any of it. It's just not up to factor at that time. It was Really great to see a robot finally moving out there, competing, actually lifting things. It was just really great to see a robot do what it was built for to do. One of the ways to score points is to put inner tubes uh, stacked around around a rack, and the human players that were off the arena uh, would throw the inner tubes to their to the robots to then pick up and move onto the rack. When we were up against the leading team, Team 100. They were one of the best teams. They could put you know, inner tubes on the racks past any guards, could send a defense, and we actually stopped them. I think we punched really above our weight. I think we did really well in the competition. It was like uh, several hundred points to zero in our favor. Direct 10. This baby knows how to take a beat. Our main point strategy was the ramp lowering and having other robots come up and we would have troubles with robots getting caught on, on one of our cables or our cable system would hang up, bind up on us a little bit and we couldn't get one of the ramps down or, or the ramps wouldn't pop open. A couple times we got uh, one robot up. Well, we made it to the semifinals. When it comes down to picking alliances, for the finals, we got picked by a team. Team 1560 would like to invite team 1031. Yeah! But I don't know if it was the best decision for that team because I don't know if they really thought about their strengths and weaknesses and all of that. It does come down to how well you guys can work as an alliance. And uh, one team, they were more uh, conceited, which you don't really come across a lot as conceited teams. One of the other teams, they were just not really focused. So. But then we were screwed anyway. I designed a battery box specifically for the battery. Fits tightly. I tipped the robot upside down and held it upside down and shook it. The battery didn't fall out. You know, the one time I don't put the battery in, the battery falls out. The robotics team has determination. I saw that in their eyes. We spent our lunch time replacing the wire. And it was really, it was one of those intense moments where you, you know, you're in focus. It kept going to distance, and I like that. I admire that.
Last thing that far was kind of cool. I think we probably could have gotten a lot farther. If we went for our robot, like malfunctioning at the end. Because we were putting a lot of stress on it. didn't win, but you weren't shabby. You, you were certainly competitive, and I, th I think that's the best, you know? If you can go in there and be competitive and have fun, that's what it's all about anyway. Well, I mean, it's a great group of students. Considering the competition out there is really tough, you know, some of these um, uh, suburban high schools. Uh, you know, they have a lot more in terms of resources that we just don't have here at John O'Connell. I think they did a spectacular job, and I'm really proud to be associated with them. Well, we had a good run. We tried our best. And if we didn't win, at least we went out trying. It felt in the beginning a little, I felt a little down. The whole team felt a little down because we didn't win. But at least we actually got together had a great friendship and a great school year just working on this robot that actually brought us all together. We were all companions working next side to side. We learned a lot about each other. We got great experience in mechanics. Now that I know more about complex things, I can actually fix things around the house, simple things, and it's actually giving more knowledge about, you know, the world and everything, and yeah, more independent. <laughs> so the plan for next year will be to uh, turn the robotics into, into a, a, a class. It will be an elective, accredited, graded class. Yeah, I really hope that, you know, that we all can get together again and work on this, on this project again and really go compete next year and actually win. <laughs> Kids, make sure the robot is simple otherwise it will break. The more complex, the more work you're going to have to do. So just keep it simple. It's a really enthusiastic group of people. When they get motivated and, and, and excited about something, um, uh, it's, a great, it's a great thing to see and they do, they do some really great work. And, uh, so uh, I just hope to instill and, and incite more, more of that uh, excitement in the, in the future. You know, I was so content and on my graduation stuff, make sure I graduated and all that. And then it hit me one day, you know, like, wow, this is a great experience. I mean, it sucks that you know, it has to stop now because, I mean, they should have an adult program. For next year. I'm attending SF State. I'll be coming by just to check the, you know, see, the, the, just get updates of what's going on in your team. I'm so proud. I'm so proud of all the robotics team people. I've seen all the team members grow through high school and I feel honored. other things out in the world, but, you know, if a student gets the chance to do a program like this, they should do it. They should take up the opportunity. Good luck, 2008.